Good afternoon, everyone. This is Reverend Dr. Cynthia Red at thepreachers.org. Okay, um, there's something that's wrong. And I didn't know how to express this until now. Now, you all know that I used to participate in being um, lesbian clergy and in the homosexual church and community at large. But there's one thing I didn't quite understand is sex changes. I didn't have a clear view of this until now. According to God, He only created Adam and Eve. And our water species, some of the males were turn into females in order to re reproduce, which means that they could possess the male testicles, testes, and the female ovaries, fallopian tubes, and uterus. So they had both um, genetically in there according to what I'm believing, okay, because they never write it out in plain public view where we can see it. So this is an announcement, that's why you're looking at the radio here, and the boom box speaker, my little teddy bear saying, cheer up, cheer up, name Maggie. You all know I used to participate in the homosexual church, and I used to be listed as homosexual clergy, which is still on some websites out there today. I disagree with a sex change, because we are given the bodies that God had given us. Now what happens in our minds, God has given us our minds too. What happens in our minds and the things that we experience throughout our life determines what we allow these doctors to do to us. However, God has only allowed certain species to reproduce alone. A roach can reproduce alone. A bed bug can reproduce alone. Okay? Okay? I've seen roaches on top of each other. But, you know, I, I, I don't understand the ramifications of them in whole or a bad bug. I'm only going by what I've seen on the Internet and what's sold on the Internet. Because I took biology, but I did not take biology to the point to where I became a doctor like I wanted to. I'm a spiritual doctor, okay, um, in the church. So from what I can gather is I can only gather things based on the biblical sense. And when one is given on to their own lust, it starts in the mind, you know, whether it's in the <clears throat> environment that affected, that affected the mind or whether it is um, hom uh, um, holistic, your whole development, okay? So we want to look at these things. We want to look at, when you get into behavioral psychology, you get down into humanistic psychology. And in the humanistic psychology, it talks about the environment, your development, and what um, constitutes the behavior, which would be the behavior psychologist would have to dig deep into you to help analyze what's going on with you. So that's why when people get these sex changes, I mean, full body sex changes, <clears throat> they have to take pills and go to therapy and stuff. Now, when I was living in the shelter Cornerstone, there were guys that was transgender dressing up like women, but they had not changed their sex, but they was under the transgender um, category, which to me was a cross-dresser. But they were still trying to have sex with the women. So to me, they were faking to get better housing and to be treated better than the men was. Okay? So when we look at people taking advantage of the system and people that are going to the psychologists and all these different things and everyone going against God by changing your sex, to me, there's no forgiveness for that sex change. The second thing, and with the first thing, is um, we're not supposed to blaspheme the Holy Ghost, which is in Matthew 14. There's no forgiveness for that. But me, 
I cannot find forgiveness for a sex change in the Bible. In the Bible, it talks about how man is given on to their own lust. Now, I talked about social criticism, it's the radical criticism, and the literal criticism, which entails what's happening now today, where men would cross-dress from centuries past, or women would, to reflect a societal need or provide a need to someone else, or it was a loss given to themselves. So for me, there is no forgiveness for those two things. Now I've been through a lot in my day, <clears throat> and I've labeled myself as being the center. And that repentance, you have to repent. If you sin willfully, you have to go back in your mind and re-examine what's happening in your mind and during that particular time. And then God will allow you to repent and come back to Him. If you go back to that thing, it could be worse for you. So we need to understand some things here. When people go to the therapist or go to the psychologist and they're going through that sex change, they can't reproduce kids unless they have kept the original genital, uh, the, the reproduction organ. If it was a man, he kept, and he want to be a woman, he has to keep his male part. And if it's a woman, <clears throat> she want to be a man, she have to keep her female part in order to reproduce. Because you cannot reproduce if that is the case. I remember when I had my hysterectomy, they left my ovaries in. But this man asked me, was it to get a sex change? And I said, no, I became needed it done. <clears throat> and I've never heard that question before, but a man that is uh that is a friend of mine online asked me this question and is still a friend to this day online. And before that, <clears throat> so I didn't understand the questioning because I was looking at a medical need I had, right? So I had to hysterectomy my fallopian tubes removed. Okay, now I'm looking at it and saying, wow, it didn't dawn on me, you know. But it's not good to feel like you need to have that done. Sometimes men and women wake up in the morning and get strange sensations in their genital area. That doesn't mean you want to be a man. That doesn't mean you want to be a woman. That's a sensation. You maybe didn't lay right or something. Or something went on in your sleep. Okay? But please remember that. When anytime we start changing anything that God put here and it wasn't set up for us to do it automatically from his creation, then we need to understand, don't touch it. Okay? Don't touch it. Now, we do have what we call hybrid people that are born with both sexes. Some of them can reproduce probably and some of them can't. But that is something that the science community have to tell us about. Now, we got another scene that was on YouTube about using human tissue to make these clones, which Bill Clinton originally outlawed cloning. Now it's back. And I'm telling you, we got to be careful now. Because man is trying to make himself like God. Remember when Satan said he wanted to be like God and he was cast out? It was a battle in heaven and they got rid of Satan up there. God threw him out. And I say they because the Trinity is there. They threw him out. God threw him out. Now he's, he's down here and all this is going on. Now you now ask yourself, is it Satan doing it or is it man? Because, see, if you read in Jeremiah and you read in um, Psalms, you find that when you want to exalt yourself as if you are God, then you are God's enemy. 
You are his enemy. Know this. Let this be the announcement warning. You are his enemy. No longer his. And those that you deceive into doing this thing, or say or talk to them in this manner, you are his enemy. And he is coming for you. Know this. Amen.